everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 16th, 2016. Last night, I was a special guest on the Front Porch Radio Show on iHeartRadio. And ladies and gentlemen, they are trying to silence me. They do not want the truth to come out about Planet X. But I am delivering the truth. So stay tuned and listen to the broadcast. This will be a series of videos. So watch them all. Okay, so basically, because remember, this is this is just this is just a, a very high burst of of energy, solar energy. Okay, and it's and it's just depleting our magnetic field, and there's not really anything visually that 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 we can spot just by by seeing it. Now, um, CERN. Let me ask you about CERN. Uh, is is CERN trying to replicate this magnetic field in a certain area of the Earth because they know that eventually we are going to lose our force field that's around our Earth, and they are manufacturing a machine that will kind of uh, create that same thing in an in a area of the Earth where just themselves can be protected from this? Well, it is, it is said... From the information that that I've gotten, it is said that CERN can create a magnetosphere around the Earth better than what nature can do. Okay. Now, there there is the very high possibility that they are doing damage to the magnetosphere. They can be causing the collapses. But see. That's the problem. We don't know that because they only tell us what we want to know. So if, in fact, they were damaging the magnetosphere and causing these collapses by turning that puppy up, they would never tell us that. They would never say, oh, my, we're sorry, everybody on Earth. We were monkeying around with this, uh, this collider, and we kind of collapsed the magnetosphere for two hours, two times in a day. Mm -hmm. But again, this, this, this load of energy did not come from the earth. It came from behind the earth. So that's why I kind of uh, discounted the CERN issue. Okay. Well, that, that makes sense. The plasma that you were speaking of now, the only plasma that I'm aware of, now I'm all new to this. I, I have had messages come in today. Uh, knowing that you're going to be on the program, you know, for 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 you just to kind of dissect all this in layman's terms where we can understand it, because I'm I'm new to this and I'm learning as I go. But as far as I know about plasma, the only uh, thing I've been around are like plasma cutters that that cut metal with with frequency. It's a it's a frequency that will actually cut through steel, and. Uh, so I'm assuming this plasma that you're talking about is, is just like that. It's like a frequency, a discharge of some sort of electrical um, energy, right? That's correct. It'd be electromagnetical energy. Okay. Now, is, is this plasma that's coming into our solar system, is it going to be um, letting out its energy on the Earth, say a discharge like a lightning bolt? Could that possibly happen? Uh, I don't know about a lightning bolt. Now, I, I have heard some theories about this electrical charge possibly coming from uh, Nibiru. I haven't seen it with my own eyes. I don't think anyone has seen anything like that. Now, I do know that um, this will have the ability to create very intense auroras. Um, definitely in the northern hemispheres of the earth but they will be seen in a larger area not just in your you know uh very northern tier of of alaska and things of that nature uh there would be quite a lot of people that would see these auroras and that would be your visualization okay so now last two weeks over in the netherlands and over in alaska we have been seeing massive uh, auroras, some of which we've really never seen in that, that quantity. Uh, there's pictures floating around on the Internet, friends, if you want to go uh, check those auroras out. So we are now beginning to see 
those auroras. Now, is this uh, some sort of signal as to, hey, people, you better wake up because there's more to come? Um, that's definitely a possibility. That's, I mean, I, I did not hear about uh, the additional sightings of those auroras. Uh, I've been so busy over the last two weeks. Um, I'm running on three hours of sleep again. Same thing when I talked to you the last time. My <laughs> sleep patterns, have <laughs> they have not gotten any better. But um, I'm, I'm going to have to check up on that. But uh, that might be a very, very high possibility. Now, what exactly, now that we, we, we are seeing these waves of energy coming in, and you're kind of just kind of using ideas of what could be bringing this energy in, uh, we know that there's going to be a massive shock wave that's going to hit in December. And I, I believe it's, what, December 26th. Now, do you know anything about that shock wave as to what it could be? Um, I was just, right before I got on the show with you, I had some information come through. It's, it's sitting on my desk. I'm going to have to read up on it. But I, I have heard that about the, the December 26th uh, shock wave, the day after Christmas. And um, I, I did hear a little bit about this back in the summertime. Um, I think uh, I might even touch base on it with you on the last show, but a, a gentleman by the name of Ed Dames um, worked for the military for many, many years as a, um, how, could I, how could I put this? Um, now, is that the same Ed Danes that's been on Coast to Coast AM? Yes. Okay. I know who you're talking about. Okay. Um, you know, you know, Ed just basically retired after his last seminar at the end of July, um, just out of nowhere. That was it. Last show, uh, he announced his retirement and he has since disappeared. <laughs> Has, now, he, has he um, gone in a bunker like uh, all the elites are going into bunkers? <laughs> um, he did mention that. He did an interview with uh, Marshall Masters, and uh, they referred to it as a debriefing. And he has known Marshall for many, many years. Um, I guess this debriefing was, you know, like an interview. And uh, Ed, Ed had stated that um, that that. He saw into this future with Planet X, Nibiru, the Nemesis Solar System, and he said, it, "You know, it, it, it was an it, it was an ugly scene. It scared him." And he did also state that this wasn't a cataclysmic event where all of mankind will be wiped out. But he did say that these instances that will occur will test your faith severely. There will be a, there will be a pole shift and, and, um, you know, he, he was very vague about a lot of it, uh, in, in Marshall's interview. And, uh, he did drop some, dates and some information, but he also mentioned the latter part of December that would be the time frame that we would start to see and feel the presence of this system getting closer. Well, I want to get kind of biblical with you because, again, you know, we talked about this on the last show. Uh, we know what's coming is eventually going to come because Isaiah said in Isaiah 24 that God's going to turn the world or turn the earth upside down and shake out all the inhabitants of the earth. And so you're talking about a pole shift. Uh, explain to us, and, and I'm uh, getting messages in. I've got a few listeners, and we'll get to it in just a second, but I kind of uh, get them up to speed on exactly what the Nemesis solar system is and this planet X you're talking about. Uh, but before we get to that, what what exactly is this pole shift? Is the Earth actually going to turn upside down? Well, when I mean a pole shift, I guess I should have been more clear. I'm talking about a crustal displacement, meaning 
um, the the Earth's crust will will start to shift, and also the planet itself will start to tilt, and that will be because of the interaction between the north and south pole of Nibiru and our north and south pole. Ladies and gentlemen, you just finished listening to part three of my live interview on the Front Porch Radio Show on iHeartRadio. Stay tuned for part four. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. We'd also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.